Hi, this is Glenn here again from Dana Ridge. Today we're going to be blasting a tire iron. Uh, we're going to be using some aluminium oxide, some different grits, and also some crushed glass just to do a comparison. Uh, we'll do a 220 grit oxide, a 120 grit oxide, a 46 grit oxide, and a crushed glass. So all these oxides are um, angular in shape. Uh, so I'll give them a dull finish. Uh, this one's actually quite a fine oxide. This took about three minutes to do. Okay, so the lower the number, the coarser the grit. So this one's obviously more coarse than the 240. This one took about uh, 45 seconds to do the same amount. Okay, so we've got the 46 grit here. It's quite a nice coarse oxide. It's good for removing coatings and things like that, giving it a nice rough uh, surface. And this took about 35 seconds to do. This is a fairly coarse crushed glass. Uh, it'll do a similar job to the aluminium oxide, it's just not as hard wearing as the oxide is. So that took about 45 seconds to complete, and there's uh, done with the rust left in the middle just for a bit of contrast. Here's all four side by side for comparison, uh, it's a little hard to tell from the photo but the harsher oxide and uh, crushed glass got a rough finish, the finer oxide has got a sort of smoother finish, all of them are a, a matte finish. Now, the crushed glass is a much cheaper way of going, um, it just doesn't wear as long as the aluminium oxide, uh, it's a softer material so it will break down quicker but it still does a good job. It also comes in a range of sizes. So there's different grades of the aluminium oxide as well, like there's white, pink, brown. Uh, they have varying degrees of iron content and other impurities in them. Yeah, it's probably best to get in touch with us here at Dana Ridge and we can discuss the best media for your application. Okay, here we're just blasting a weight with some crushed glass, half mil to one mil in size. Uh, it took about two and a half minutes to do the whole thing. Right, so we've dosed the machine up with no rust so it should give it about sort of two or three weeks rust protection. 